Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Need for Speed Heat. Today's a very special video because, well, if you saw the last builds video, you would know that this is the last builds video of this sort of style where we would pick a car, see how fast it goes around, you know, that certain event on our leaderboard, and then we would take it to night for a couple events and then give a final verdict on whether or not you should buy this car. Well, I'll be explaining at the end of this video and at the beginning of the next video what, what it's going to be. Because, well, the next video will be that, so at the end of this video you will find out, so stay tuned for that. I'm, I'm really excited. Anyway, uh, let's throw a bunch of stuff in here. So. For performance, we have a stock 570 horsepower, 4.5 liter V8, which sounds like a Ferrari engine. Everything else are V6s and V8s that don't sound like it. And then this inline 4 hybrid, which does not at all sound like the Ferrari engine. So we're going to keep a stock engine today. But luckily for us, I already know that with the stock engine, we can go all the way skyrocketing to 400 plus. And for the turbo today, twin seems to be the best option, so that's what we're going to do. For the gearbox, 7-speed um, is standard, 8-speed is actually not the best. Why did I ever choose that? Well, guess that was a mistake. And differential, there we go. So, all in all, stats, what do we have? 400 plus Ferrari, 458 Spider with 1,083 hers pers, 0 to 16, 2.07 seconds, top speed of 234 miles per hour, and a max torque of 688 pound feet of those torquey boys. That is a very scrumptious recipe there. Also, by the way, it's four and a half liter V8. I think I already said that. So, customization, what are we gonna do? We're gonna stance it. I already know what I want for the camber. The back needs to go up by two to be even with the front. I already tuned the exhaust. That is the best thing I have probably ever heard in my life. And since it's red, because it's for, it's a Ferrari, we're keeping it red. We have to do red backfire and red nitrous color. Air suspension might be something we should consider, but it sucks that we can't have a preview of what it would look like. So we're just gonna leave that, because that's a lot of money. Anyways, we did the wheels. I'm very happy with them. We went different calipers this time, and we went with uh, Weds Co. Uh, these are, I believe, it doesn't say here, but they are the 86th rim on this list. So if you want to pick those up, they look pretty nasty in a good way. Uh, side, side wing mirrors, we're gonna choose the only other custom option we have. Same with the fenders for the front and the back and then for front lights i wanted to go with blue so that's what we're going to do canards we only have one option there front bumper makes it too racy it adds a lot of meaty stuff going on on the sides there and some vents on the front but i think we're going to keep a stock front bumper add a splitter we have no hood window tint is at 26 as we normally do and then we are going to do a modified rear bumper because that looks really nice. And then the only spoiler we have, which is a big wang, and then medium tint for the tail lights. We'll do sound system. And last thing, we'll do the exhaust, which personally, I think these look to be the best. Also, it comes as a convertible standard, but you could put it back into hardtop if you wanted to, but it's Miami. We have to go with the no roof. And thankfully for us, in this game, not having a roof doesn't make your performance any less than if you had one on, which I'm very thankful for. Now, Ferraris weren't in the last game. They were in 2015, but not in payback. Why? I don't know. But even when they were in 2015, they only had very minimal customization. And by that, I mean like one option for literally everything. So there you go. <laughs> anyway, that is literally this build done. I'm super happy with it. I think I think it's amazing. You know? I mean, what more can you want from a Ferrari? So I think again, we're gonna go into the day and we're gonna do some, some small boy events here. 
and by small boy I mean I like this one it is very long so maybe we won't do that I think we'll do one regular event and then we'll do a heat level 3 event and then we'll go to daytime do the regular business there we go we'll go for that one all right let's hit it oh ho, ho, ho. Oh man, she screams, she purrs. Also for live tuning, I did what I always do. Down force all the way on low for a little bit extra. Top speed and better quarter mile time. I just leave the steering sensitivity, unless it's one of my drift cars because, well, I like the standard the best, that's why. So, let's give it some boost, see what we can do, see what the acceleration's like. Pretty average, nothing crazy. Nothing overpowered, nothing RSR-like, and definitely not McLaren F1-like. I compare the two now. In fact, my F1 is way better than my RSR, so I should stop making it seem like the RSR is the top-tier hearse per boy in my garage. Because realistically, it's not anymore. It's been, it's been thrown in the bin. Man, I can't wait to do that heat level 3 event, because I want the po-po after me me doing pretty good we almost passed second place with first shot of nos off the line what the heck was that man for those of you wondering or for those of you who have any doubt right now i just want you i just want to tell you that my plan that i have isn't to stop doing builds on the channel but it will be one need for speed heat video and crew 2 video a week and one i do a need for speed heat video Unless an, unless an update gets pulled out of thin air, it will always be my new idea, my new, which you'll see at the end of this video, I promise. And let me just say, by the way, this idea, this, this new plan, this new way of making my heat content, guys, it slaps, and like, there's gonna be not one, but two cars that we're building every week. And it'll be more consistent. Oh yeah, finished first. Look at that, Ocean Drive High Heat Event Unlocked. That's all the way over here. Which means we gotta drive pretty far. Isn't that just excellent? But this is where I'm gonna talk about the car. You know, why, why you should even say, the, say its name. Why is it even worthy of that, for goodness sakes? Let alone spending your hard-earned need for speed monies on it. Well, that's a very good question. And I must say, this car, a huge part of it, for, for me at least, is just the nostalgia of it being a game set in Miami with a car that screams Miami more than any other and it's a convertible and it sounds really good with like a lot of cars in this game like sometimes you're like you go through all the engines and it doesn't sound like the car does in real life but this one the stock one does you know and not only that it can carry you all the way to the highest level just because it's a high level doesn't mean your driving is going to improve, guys. Just just saying. Just saying. That's a lot of tires. Holy poop poop. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we're, we're at the high heat event, Ocean Drive. I just realized you actually get money for these, too. Ain't that super neat, super cool. What is the side profile, anyway, for a person? I mean, seriously. At least for me. Oh my gosh. What do you know? We're getting another chance at that suspect we chased before. Suspect from before is That was the craziest thing. Back out there. 
I think I've ever experienced in my entire career. Oh my goodness. Well, we're getting some cop action now. Uh, if you didn't think we were before, well, well, now we are. That cop literally spawned out of nowhere, though. That's not fair. I mean, that's naughty, dude. Like, oh man, we've we've lost a racer. Oh, oh, oh. Man, this is getting heated. <laughs> this is getting heated, dude. This is crazy. That was scary before, though, dude. Dudes. Dudes, dudettes. That was really gnarly. That was honestly... That was crazy. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, we're top three. Can we get any higher? Oh, they already finished, yeah. That ain't happening, but oh, we did kind of almost just die. So that did happen. All right, quick nav, safe house. See, that was so easy. Man, that quick nav feature, it saved my butt so many times. Oh. Wow. Crap. Oh, we just got a free dual turbocharger. Well, that's a win. We can sell that straight away. Wow, okay. You know what? Now that I look at the side of this car. Yeah, it does. Maybe it does need to be lowered a tiny bit. Do we buy the air suspension? That's the question. Okay, well, now we can see how much it lowers by when the car's off. And I think it's worth it. I think it's worth it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back after four hot laps with a 144. 13. Now, I have to say, this is one of the lower end supercars, so it does have a time around the Aston Martin DB11 Volant, which is also a lower end supercar, so a 144. 13. I mean, is it that bad? <laughs> it's pretty much all I can say about that. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy today's video, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next Need for Speed Heat Head to Head video. Boom! Till next time, guys. Peace out.